Many of you may have seen that Transformers Rise of the Beasts is coming out. We got the trailer about a week ago. I didn't bother to do a, a review on this trailer or any kind of trailer breakdown simply because I'm kind of transformered out. Now, don't get me wrong. I am a huge Transformers fan. I grew up in the 80s and uh, when the first generation of Transformers and GoBots for that matter uh, were introduced, I had just about every Transformer you could imagine. I wish I still had those Transformers, but uh, afraid I was not to be. But however, uh, the first Michael Bay movie was okay. Then they got worse and got even more worse and got even more worse. Uh, I did watch Bumblebee, and this supposedly takes place in the same universe as Bumblebee, which means we have multiple Transformers universes, I guess. Uh, I'm not, and the first Transformers was hard enough for me to get through because I am not a Shia LaBeouf fan, not at all. I just wish either they had just left him out of it <laughs> or they had uh, cast somebody different. But uh, we have something now that I feel warrants a discussion. Right here, you see Transformers Rise of the Beast director Stephen Capale, I guess it's Capale, Jr. says film will tell a story about, about black and Latin culture. Uh, once again, people... I do not go to the movie theater to see a movie named Transformers to learn about culture, black or Latin or white or Chinese or French or Canadian. I don't care. I go to the movies to see a movie called Transformers, to see a movie about robots that change into cars and planes and telescopes and boom boxes that's why i go to see a movie called transformers not to learn about black and latin culture i mean are these people at this point are they just narcissists are they just so uh, their head is so far up their own ass that they have to interject this into everything these I, this identity politics into everything while most fans are presently concerned with whether or not the film will feature an appearance by a certain purple-scaled incarnation of Megatron, a.k.a. Galvatron, if you're not a Transformers fan, director Stephen Capale Jr. has assured those concerned with Transformers Rise of the Beast's human element that the Maximals' upcoming cinematic debut, I guess the Maximals are the animal-type Transformers, I, I, I will be the first to admit, that I know nothing about Transformers Beast Wars. At that point, I was an adult and was not paying attention to new Transformers material. I still watch the, the old uh, Transformers the movie, the, the animated version. Love it. Love that movie. <clears throat> uh, and like I said, I watched a couple of the, the newer ones before I got burned out on it. So I'm guessing the Maximals is the animal type Transformers. Uh, the Transformers Rise of the Beast human element that the Maximals upcoming cinematic debut will tell a story about black and Latin culture. Capali Jr., best known for being director behind Creed II, which I never saw, revealed this narrative direction for the Autobus' next Earth-based adventure during a recent interview with BET. Uh, asked by this outlet for his feelings on being given the reins to such a major franchise, the director jovially observed, you came straight out of the gate with that one before answering in earnest, it's been an emotional ride. It's been two years now. Transformers Rise of the Beast star Anthony Ramos, Ramos and I talk about having this type of opportunity, but also understanding it's our time. It's their time. Nobody else's time, just their time. For us to be in this position where we can tell a story about our culture, our people, and see ourselves portrayed on the big screen, blending in with these vast genres, is special. No, 
No, it's not your time to tell a story about your culture. It's your time to tell a story about transformers, about robots that change into things and robots that have giant robot fights. That's what you're telling a story about. There are not too many people on the actor or director's side to be in this position on this scale and scope, and we're doing our best to carry this weight. We'll get to that. No matter how many times Anthony and I took a look at each other on set, tired and all, we realized we were able to do something special and for a reason. We created something special, and it feels great to be in this position. Well, that remains to be seen, whether it's just going to be more nonsense, just explosions and beat them up and... The story's just got so convoluted uh, that he defends using uh, Notorious B.I.G.'s Juicy on the in the teaser trailer. Uh, this movie is set in the 90s, by the way. So it's not a modern day telling. And uh, I do believe that this is R.C. And Saw Transformers, the movie, would know who R.C. is. And you, So you have a Latin lead and a black lead uh this is uh dominique thorne and she uh was in the she was in the film black panther wakanda forever even though i can't seem to figure out who she played uh you have these average folks transforming into something huge and special and we we didn't know existed so for the record it was a right move and it was our anthem on set so we played biggie Notably, despite the director's apparent conviction in this statement, history does not fully support Capale Jr.'s framing that his and Ramos's 2022 participation in a major geek culture project is any sort of breakthrough for representation. And let's take a look why they say that. While it's admittedly true that the subculture has seen few black directors behind the camera, but it has seen some, a.k.a. Uh, Black Panther and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Latin directors have long been responsible for some of the most well-regarded pieces of pop culture ever put to screen. Robert Rodriguez from Dust Till Dawn. Alfonso Rion's uh, Run on Glee, which I never saw. And American Horror Story, Coven, as well as uh, Guillermo del Toro's entire filmography. So, Mexican-American uh, directors, Latin, Latin directors... They've done plenty, plenty in the uh, sci-fi action genre. As far as actors go, black and Latin actors, LeVar Burton, Jordan LaForge, Gener Star Trek The Next Generation, Edward James Almos, Commander William Adama, Battlestar Galactica, uh, Steve Car Cardenas's time as the second Red Ranger, never watched uh, Power Rangers, so I don't know much about him. Walter Emanuel Jr. as the Black Ranger. Ricardo Montalban as Khan, Nuni, and Singh was just, uh, just incredible. It was just incredible acting, an incredible portrayal of, of a character for a Star Trek movie. I mean, he, he should have won an Oscar for that role. Uh, Michael Jai White uh, was the lead in Spawn. Alex Pena Vega. In Spy Kids, Gabriel Luna as Ghost Rider in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which I hated that in incarnation of him. Is that the right word? I think it is. Danny Glover as Roger Murtaugh in Lethal Weapon. Yeah, you know, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Just one of the... It defines the genre. It defines the genre of action buddy cop dramas. John Leguizamo as Luigi... Super Mario Brothers, May, Sam Jackson as Mace Windu in Star Wars, uh, as well as Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, as well as The Avengers. Rosa Salazar as the title, heroine of Alita Battle Angel. Tyrese Gibson was Sergeant Epps in the first Michael Bay Helm Transformers films. That's right. A black lead in a Transformers movie. So we've had play right there. There he is as Sergeant Epps. And, and you could argue that he was one of the leads in the movie. He might not have been as big as, uh, of a lead as Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf, LaBeouf. It's like these people just, they forget. Or maybe they've never seen them. I mean, you, maybe they have no idea about what they're creating. Uh, it'll be in theaters June 9th of 2023. 
Uh, let's take a look here. It's see, it's IMDb. It's a very, it's a very diverse cast. Michelle Yao, she's in everything. Okay, if you need an an, an older Asian woman, that's she's the only Asian older Asian female actor on the planet, I think. And Pete Davidson is Mirage. There's Anthony Ramos as Noah. Can't you smile for your picture, dude? Can't you just smile? Do you have to look like that? Peter Dinklage, I love him. I mean, he's got the, the best voice. Which, uh, if Scourge is in it, then it's definitely possible that Galvatron might be in it. Which would be awesome, as long as they don't screw it up. Ron Perlman is Optimus Primal. I'm guessing that's the giant gorilla. Peter Cullen returns as Optimus Prime. Ma Michaela Michella J. Rodriguez is Nightbird. Lisa Croce is RC, so that was RC. John DiMaggio is Stratosphere. Dominique Fishback as Elena. Once again, can't you smile when someone's taking a picture of you? Dominique De Rosa. Dominic, Dominic De Rosa. De Rosa. Bus driver. Very diverse cast, even for the voice casting, which I don't understand why. What? what? Why would you have to hire a, a a Chinese actress to be a Transformer? Transformers are not Chinese. Okay? Why do you have to hire a Latina actress to be Nightbird, also a Transformers? Transformer. Uh, Transformers are not Latino. <laughs> Which they got me was uh, one of the other movies had had a, a, a Transformer. I can't remember the Transformer's name, but he was basically a samurai. And he talked with this really, really heavy Japanese accent, with which I could barely understand what he was saying. <laughs> I couldn't understand. I turned on subtitles to figure out what the hell this guy was saying. We don't need that. We don't need... People that can barely speak English to be voice actors as Transformers. Transformers are from outer space. If anything, they'd have an outer space accent. Not a Chinese or a Latino accent. Ac accent. But that's what I got for you today. Uh, like I said, this guy, Stephen Capale Jr., I, I don't even know what else he's creed to. Okay, was whatever he was, uh, he was the director. He's Latino. He looks looks like a black guy. Definitely not. Doesn't look Latino. Uh, Creed two, the land, a different tree, by all. He didn't write it. So maybe he's telling a story that that he didn't write. But uh, maybe we'll get at least a decent movie as far as the Transformers are concerned. I don't give a shit about the representation. The, the black and Latina representation, all I care about, like I said before, is seeing a Transformers movie. Anyway, that's all I got for tonight. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. Smash the like button. And I will see you next time.